welcome to my channel. My name is Jessica, the Ferrari Family Coach. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the bill that President Trump recently signed into law regarding animal cruelty and making it a felony. And yeah, so let's get right into the video. If you have never been to my channel before, please consider subscribing. I'm a pet parent coach and positive reinforcement dog trainer, and this channel is all about positive reinforcement dog training, dog behavior, canine enrichment, and nutrition. And if that interests you, I'd really love for you to join the family and go ahead and click that subscribe button. Once you do, go ahead and click the bell and select all notifications. That way, YouTube can notify you every time I post a new video. So let's get right in to this video. And we have been super excited lately in the animal community. And if you are in the animal community, if you love animals, then you probably know that recently a bill was passed in the Senate, went to President Trump's desk, and he signed into law the PACT Act, which is making certain types of animal cruelty a felony, federal felony offense, which is absolutely amazing. There is still a long way to go, but I wanted to discuss with you exactly what this bill entails and what it covers and what we need to do moving forward. Um, this is something that is really near and dear to my heart because I just flat out 100% completely cannot sympathize with anyone who commits any act of negligence or abuse to an animal. And if you're watching this video, you're probably very much like me and have no idea how people can do this. My background is in psychology and I actually have, I have my bachelor's in of science and psychology with a minor in criminal justice. And so I studied quite a bit about offense patterns when I was in school. And we know for a fact that people who, who abuse and torture animals will, if given the opportunity, escalate into violent crimes against other people. Now, for me personally, I feel like even if that were not the case, it is still our responsibility to protect and love and nurture the animals in our care. Um, however, knowing that there is very concrete data that we have, we know people who abuse and torture animals, if given the opportunity, will, will escalate to violent crimes against other people. We, as a nation, absolutely have to act. And the PACT Act is just one of the steps towards doing that. So the PACT Act, Preventing Animal Cruelty and Torture, is now a federal felony. Previously, in 2010, it became a federal crime to distribute videos of animal torture, including, um, well, it's specifically targeting crushing videos. I don't even wanna get into what they are. I don't wanna talk about them. You probably already know. Um, so it, outlawed the distribution of video footage of crushing, burning, drowning, suffocating, impaling, or ex uh, sexual exploitation of animals. What this new legislation has put into place that President Trump just signed in November 2019, it closes a loophole, basically. So all of those same acts of abuse and, um, torture, basically, crushing, burning, drowning, suffocating, impaling, and sexual, sexual exploitation, the acts themselves are federal felonies. Previously, different states and municipalities could had different legislation outlawing these activities. Now it is a federal felony. It is a crime in all U.S. territories. So 
animal fighting as well as everything I mentioned above were previously um, kind of hit or miss illegal to varying degrees. Maybe some are misdemeanors, maybe some are felonies in, in various states throughout the country. Now they are considered federal felonies. So any U.S. territory or any of anything affected by interstate commerce is now covered under the PACT Act. So again, guys, we still have a long way to go to completely remove animal abuse from society. However, this is a really big step for us as a nation. Um, the United States has now said we care about our animals and how we treat our animals. And that says a lot about a civilization. Mahatma Gandhi's famous quote says, the greatness of a nation and its moral progress can be judged by the way its animals are treated. So the United States is taking a big step in saying that we care about our animals, we are a moral people, and we care about how our animals are treated. Now, again, we still have a long way to go, not just with our companion animals, which we primarily think of when we think of this act, but also with our farm animals. If we look at what the PACT Act actually covers, and we put that into perspective with how we treat farm animals um, in factory farming specifically, I know a lot of small farmers who unfortunately are being pushed out by factory farming, um, small farmers really do care in general. Of course, this is on a case by case basis, but they really do care for their animals and treat them well because I mean, that's that's their bread and butter, right? Um, but with factory farming, animals are highly mistreated and it's really, really a shame. So I think when we are talking about what we can do to move forward, we need to take what we have in place and start applying that to uh, factory farm animals because you know what? they still are living beings and they say they still have the same feelings and emotions and feel the same physical pain that other animals do so let's i think that's where we need to go um with this we need to start encompassing all animals and not just companion animals and we really will see a big shift a big difference in in our society in general. So um, I know I, I haven't asked yet in this video, but please, I am I would really love to hear your thoughts on where we need to go next and how the PACT Act and what President Trump just signed into law um, affects you and how you feel about it. And again, what steps do you think we need to take moving forward and just get the dialogue going. So go ahead and comment below. Um, sorry, this isn't more of a feel good video. I thought it would be more of a feel good video because this really is good news guys. Um, but I kind of, I, I, I kind of changed the mood a little bit. So sorry about that. Um, let's get back to our excited bubbly selves and um, yeah, so go ahead and comment below. Let me know your opinions, your thoughts, how we can move forward, how we can progress uh, socially, morally, as a, uh, as a country and in helping our animals and doing so. And if you, uh, again, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I would really love to have you uh, join the family. Go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. If you liked it, if you appreciate me bringing this information to you. Um, yeah, so uh, with that, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Thank you so much for being with me today and watching this video. I really appreciate it. Um, and yeah, so I will see you in the next video. It'll be happier. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.